Now we're going to talk about the duo split function. You'll find it down here in the voice section. Uh, we've got monophonic, of course, paraphonic, which I'll call polyphonic, and duo split. Okay, what's going on with duo split? I'm going to explain it to you. Okay, what we're talking about here is not like a, a standard duophonic setup. This is actually turning the synthesizer into two different synthesizers, which is really cool, and then splitting those synthesizers on the keyboard. So your first synthesizer is made up of VCO1, VCO2, going through the Steiner filter and being control, having the filter controlled by envelope, envelope one and then having the amp controlled by envelope two. So that's your synthesizer. VCO1 and VCO2 going through the Steiner filter. Steiner filter is controlled by envelope one and the amp is controlled by envelope two. Your second synthesizer is VCO3 going into the ladder filter and having both the amp and that filter controlled by envelope three. So let's use this arrangement. First of all, here we'll show you the default setup. On the left, we have uh, the VCO3 arrangement, and on the right, we have the VCO1 and 2 arrangement. It's split right here at the C in the center of the keyboard. Uh, maybe you can't hear the difference very clearly, but you're about to because we're going to work with it. But your default split is right there. So on either side, we have these. And since each of these is articulated by its own... Oh, this is the thing I haven't told you. Okay. Uh, the, the, the smart people, the people paying attention have a question right now, and I can just hear it. Okay, Mark, you said VCO1 and 2 through the Steiner filter. Envelope 1 controls the filter. Envelope 2 controls the amp. Okay, and then in the second one, VCO3 goes through the ladder filter, and the Envelope 3 controls both the ladder filter and the amp. But wait, Mark, there's only one VCA in the Matrix Brute, right? Well, as it turns out, there is a secret amp in the Matrix Brute that is activated when you choose Duo Split. So that means we're actually playing, this is duophonic, kind of, but what's happening is you have two uh, completely articulated voices to play with at the same time, which is really cool. Okay, let's come up with a patch. Okay, we're going to work on the VCO1 and 2, which is your right-hand side. So let's figure something out here. Okay. We'll take saw. And we'll take square. Let's add a sub to one of these. Let's get a little meat. I went over the line. Okay, let's listen to the filter. Let's give it a 12 decibel per octave filter. That's kind of a cool sound. Uh, for me, it's a very vintage sound. You're going, wow, Mark, that sounds like... I don't know. Anyway, so... Let's add a little bit of sub on both sides here. Okay. Maybe a little drive. So, there is our sound. Uh, we've set the filter. Let's set uh, the amp. Just to make distinction, let's turn this up a... Whoa, that's really going on. Let's turn this up a fifth. Okay, I put that fifth in there so you could rock out and do a really hot prog lick. Okay, I'm just kidding. Uh, I just want it to be really distinctive from the other sound. Okay, so that's our first sound. Let's make our second sound. Okay, let's choose a square wave. 
and we'll uh, take advantage of the luscious ladder filter. And remember that you have mixing control by using the outputs from the filters. As well as also, you know, of course, using uh, the mixing control that you're getting from the oscillators. But you can control the final output of the sound by using the outputs of the filters. Okay, and so there's our left-hand sound. That's the sound being generated by oscillator three going through the ladder filter. So then these together. You can get really much vastly more different. I'm just like spewing words now. You can get a lot of very different sounds. Anyway, yeah, so you can really uh really have a lot of fun having two different sounds available on your keyboard you could play them together you could play them separately if you have different if you're playing live and you have two different parts you want to be able to play uh it's extremely useful and i should tell you right now uh we haven't gotten into the sequencer and the arpeggiator yet which i know you're dying to but we will get there if you activate the sequencer or the arpeggiator when you're in duo split mode, it will apply to your second synthesizer, the one that is VCO3. So you can sequence and you can sequence a bass line or whatever. You can play arpeggios in the left hand while you're playing melodies with the right hand. So any automation that you uh, create using the matrix with the arpeggiator or the sequencer is going to affect your second synthesizer in the left hand. So that's cool. You can have that going on as well. And there are presets that have that going on. If I was smart, I would have thought of head. I would have thought ahead and had one ready, but I don't. So instead, we're going to ignore my crass mistake and dive right into several features we haven't talked about yet, which are uh, the, if you're not happy with that split point, you don't have to be. All you have to do to change the split point, right now we have it at the C. If you would feel more comfortable, it was a bit lower. All you do is go to the voice section. We're in duo split, so let's go to the voice section. Hold down the mode button. Now press a different note. Okay. Now that is the lowest note of your first synthesizer. So our split was up here, but now it's down here. So you can move the split point around. I'm sure you can move it pretty much anywhere on the keyboard. If you can move it to the lowest note or the highest note, that would be really stupid because obviously, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, so you can move the split point around all you want. And another feature, I'm not, I haven't figured out exactly what this is for, but, uh, so you've got your bass sound here. If you want it to be an octave lower, you could use the coarse tuning uh, on VCO3. And we should have, because that's awesome. Anyway, um, you can do that, or there's another thing you can do. Uh, we can do independent octaves using the octave controller. I'm not sure why they did this, but it's totally weird. You just hold on to, again, the mode button, and then press the octave button. Okay, so now if your goal was to have that bass sound be down in the clicks, 
uh, you could do that. And this has not affected your right hand synthesizer. And that's really cool. And you can see it if you want to. Now, if we hold down the mode button, we'll see that the octave jumps down to where it's actually at. You can bring it back up to a reasonable pitch. So yes, that is essentially the duo split functionality. And obviously, you know, you, you still have a huge amount of functionality you can apply. Uh, you can get some really unique timbres, even with the relatively simple second synthesizer. And don't forget that the matrix can apply to these sounds. So you can get some really interesting modulations going on using the matrix in combination with this. So it's, it's really a very fun possibility in regards to this synthesizer that isn't just monophonic. <laughs>